the gate was closed for the night. And then I had to stay in. So I gave him a couple of cigarettes and I got out. But the following day, I, I asked to see my client in the visiting area. And 10 feet away from me, one prisoner stepped in on me. Um, I don't work as good as Horace said, Mother. Let's we'll see some more of this Peruvian prison from National Geographic's World's Toughest Prison, which he's been describing once. Even inside a cell block, hello, prisoner safety isn't guaranteed. All the blocks are in competition. Yeah, each prison is like a pirate ship. They try to take care of their boat, you know what I mean? <laughs> Each is run as a business, selling drugs and prostitution to make money. Three times a week, visitors are allowed. This is when many inmates get their money, and drugs are smuggled into the jail. Uh, I mean, my news is incomprehensible. Incomprehensible. Now, even for your and Van der Sloten, all everything you think is incomprehensible for a human or an animal. Larry, they've got, they, and, and he's going to be put in the tourist section. Uh, they've got 600 prisoners in the dormitory where there are 12 showers for 600 prisoners. The showers, when I was there, work once a week for 15 minutes. You can get drugs, guns, knives, anything you want in that prison. Like, I'll tell you a quick story. I knew a Canadian woman, a, a Canadian woman whose husband was 